of this agency and law enforcement in general in your prayers. They have a tough job, um, and uh, we, we lost one tonight. Prayers and condolences coming in tonight for the family and friends of Lake County Master Deputy Bradley Link, who was shot and killed during an ambush and shootout. It happened last night around 8 in a rural part of the county on Brookside Drive, right off County Road 439. Two other deputies were injured. We have team coverage tonight. West 2's Haley Crumble Home just got breaking new information about exactly what happened out there. Dave McDaniel spoke to the 911 caller that sent deputies to the home. And Pamela Combe looks at the resources for everyone impacted by this tragedy. And we begin with West 2's Haley Crumble Home. Yeah, she joins us live from outside the Lake County Sheriff's Office. And Haley, we now know the names of those deputies still in the hospital. Yeah, we do know their names, but I will tell you, we just in the last 10 minutes got some brand new information from Lieutenant John Harrell with the Lake County Sheriff's Office. We now know that all three of the suspects involved in this shooting are dead. And despite the fact that they exchanged gunfire with deputies, deputies shot back. Lieutenant Harrell says their injuries appear to be more consistent with self-inflicted gunshot wounds. And the woman that pointed deputies to the home where this shootout happened, we now know that she was taken into a sort of mental health hold last night. Now, at this point, we are learning more information about the deputy that was killed, the two that are still in the hospital at this point, we do now know that the sheriff's office says 28 year old master deputy sheriff Bradley Link was the one that was killed Friday night. He was a graduate of Lake Mineola High School and served in the Army Reserves. Two others, 41 year old master deputy sheriff Harold Howell and 28 year old deputy first class Stefano Gargano are both still being treated at the hospital in Sanford. Link was killed after deputies were called out to a property in rural Eustis and were notified about a disturbance a few houses down. When Link and other deputies went to the home, the sheriff described it as a very violent scene and said those deputies were met with a hail of gunfire. Now, this has been very emotional for the sheriff's office. It's been less than 24 hours since they lost one of their own, and we're told Master Deputy Sheriff Bradley Link was not even supposed to be there last night. But yeah. You just never know. Deputy Link wasn't even supposed to be there. He was working a, a detail up in the forest. He wasn't even part of the road patrol unit. He heard the call go out. He went there to assist. Now, the sheriff's office says that Link was stuck inside of that home, and they say that Deputy Sheriff Howell was shot when he entered the home with Link. Deputy First Class Gargano was shot multiple times when he went into the home as part of the extraction team to rescue Link. Howell is expected to be okay, but Gargano is in critical condition as of the latest update that we've received. Now, people are rallying around this department. We do know that a church here in Tavares does plan to have a vigil for this department, for the lost officer, for those still in the hospital tomorrow night. In Lake County, Haley Crumble Home, West 2 News. All right, Haley. And neighbors say the sounds of gunfire made it clear bad things were happening nearby. The scene is a remote location east of Eustis. West 2's Dave McDaniel is live for us. He's at the Lake County Sheriff's Office this morning. And Dave, you've been speaking to neighbors. They are telling you uh, all about what they believe began this ordeal. Jason, we actually talked to the guy who called 911 last evening, a little before 8 o'clock. He said a woman from next door came onto his property and stirred up some trouble. And he said she got extremely violent with people trying to calm her down. She was trying to provoke my dogs into attacking her. The man living next door to the shooting scene says he grabbed his dogs, called 911, and asked his girlfriend to help him out. The lady punched my girl in the face, and I was on the phone with... 911. The woman who he says threw the punch is his neighbor, and when deputies arrived restraining her, she told them to check on the home where her husband was. When deputies went in, Michael Dedeker says, We heard all the gunfire from the, the first barrage, uh, and then we heard everything else after that, uh, multiple shots. That was the first gun you heard, it was the high power rifle and returned fire immediately. Neighbor Sharla Bayshore heard the same the next street over. Within 1.5 seconds of that happening, return fire happened, and then it got quiet, and then again, exchange of multiple gunfire rounds. Sound like a fully automatic, ka 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 
um, handguns. Uh, we heard the flashbangs of the tear gas go off. Later, all would learn 28-year-old Master Deputy Bradley Link had been killed. Two other deputies shot and rushed to the hospital. Three people in the home were also shot. Two died. To have all that happen really quick, like really quick, was really sad. And my husband and I both looked at each other and we knew something bad had happened. Dedeker is still dealing with what appears to be a shootout during a well-being check following someone pestering his dogs. It really breaks my heart that we lost one of the important sheriffs last night. And at the briefing we just got here at the Lake County Sheriff's Office, we were told that those deputies who responded to that home actually walked in on what appeared to be a fortified bunker-like structure with lots of weapons. Reporting live in Lake County, Dave McDaniel, West 2 News. The two injured deputies are now recovering at HCA Florida Lake Monroe Hospital in Sanford, and that's where we find West 2's Pamela Cohn live tonight. And Pamela, one organization is making sure the deputies and their families get the help they need. But first, you actually have an update on their condition. I do, and Master Deputy Harold Howell is stable and awaiting surgery. The other deputy, which is Deputy First Class Stefano Gargano, they say he was shot several times. He had one surgery already and is scheduled for another, and they do say that he is critical. Now, we were chatting with one organization who is working with the families of this, these victims, and they do say they're trying to set them up in a nearby hotel so they can wait there for news on both deputies. A community heartbroken. Law enforcement took part in a procession led by the Lake County Sheriff's Office, honoring a master deputy shot and killed Friday night. It is probably the worst fears that we have, to be honest with you. Marion yeah. County Sheriff Billy Woods is also president of the Florida Deputy Sheriff's Association. This organization is making sure the families of Master Deputy Harold Howell and Deputy Stefano Gargano, who are still receiving treatment at the hospital, have what they need to move forward. We're ensuring that they have somewhere to stay so that they're near the hospital so that they can be an immediate, immediate response on their behalf to stand there with their loved ones. They're providing financial support. The family of the fallen master deputy will get a little extra help. Ensure that that spouse, that family gets at least their annual salary from the deputy so that they can make it through this first year. The association also has counselors ready to help everyone, including colleagues. Whenever you lose a colleague like this, if you're there you know, during the shooting, you've witnessed all of that. You know, a lot of times you're trying to keep the person alive. That's stress. That's real stress. The FDSA and the sheriff's office will work with each deputy. Their crisis, if it's mental health, they may be out of work themselves for quite some time just because of it. FDSA is accepting donations. They say 100% of the funds will go towards these victims and their families. Reporting in Sanford, Pamela Combe, WASH 2 News. Pamela, thank you. And the Florida Sheriff's Association is warning about fake fundraising efforts to raise money for the family, family there of the fallen deputy. The association posted on social media saying in part, unfortunately, when tragedy hits, scams start to surface. We have a link to the official fundraiser right now on WASH.com. Stay with us here at West 2 News on air, online, and on our free West 2 News mobile app as we continue to follow this developing story. Be sure to turn on notifications for any breaking updates so they're sent straight to your phone.